and near-death experience, um, often in people who had a comatose state or related condition uh, after a severe brain injury uh, can encompass a series of dimensions. Um, these persons having the experience to leave their own body, to uh, meet other persons, sometimes deceased ones, to have the sensation of well-being, uh, altered perception of time, um, the memory flashback of their own life, um, sometimes this kind of mystic feeling of cosmic unity. And I think it's very important that now science and medicine takes this um, for me, physiological reality of near-death experiences seriously. And I think now we also have the tools. We can, with all these machines, these functional imaging tools, go and measure what's happening in the brain. Um, now, before we can study it seriously, scientifically, we need to describe the characteristics of the phenomenon. And this is exactly what we did here. In this study we compared four groups. The first, persons who had a coma and a near-death experience. The second, persons who had a coma with memories of the event without really talking about the near-death experience. Third, persons who had a coma and no memory whatsoever. And then fourth and last, we um, characterized memories in normal volunteers old memories, recent memories, imagined events and real events. And now what turns out to be the case is that near-death experiences are much richer, in a sense, realer than real, very different from any of the other types of memory that we've studied. Yes, I think the challenge now is to understand how can the brain create these more real than real experiences, these near-death experiences? And now we have the tools. And so this study is part of a larger um, assessment of consciousness in coma and related states, uh, the study of brain death, general anesthesia, hypnosis, sleep, dreaming. And now I think we really should use these high-tech tools, functional MRI, PET scan, high-density electroencephalography, to really try and understand how the brain generates this terribly difficult thing we call human consciousness. Mm -hmm.